What up, y'all? It's your boy, Big XL, Riding Dirty Radio, back again with another episode of Creating Content. As always, man, before we get into this thing, the one thing I want to always remind you guys, please, please make sure if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Also, make sure if you like what you're seeing, you want to know more about the artists, know about the show, make sure you hit that comment button, subscribe and share, all right? Subscribe and share. Okay, now, it's time to get into it, man. You know what this is. This is the Riding Dirty Show, where we bridge the gap between hip hop in everyday life. We bridge the gap between hip hop and everyday life. We provide a platform for all the movers, all the shakers, all the people that are out there creating and changing the world brick by brick, moment by moment, second by second, whether you're an artist, whether you're an entertainer, whether you're an athlete, whether you're someone just creating good vibes, this is the platform for you. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this episode is no different than any other episode. So welcome to the Riding Dirty Show, Artist Baby Ray. Hi. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am doing so, so good, man. The weather down here in the ATL, it's a little hot. It's a little hot for the Memorial Day weekend, but you know what? We got beautiful weather and I'm enjoying it. How about yourself? That's amazing. I'm um, here in Toronto. It's actually a beautiful day. We've had some really, really good weather as well. Toronto! Yeah. Home of the Raptors. That's right. That's right. All right, so look, let's get into the life of Baby Ray. You mentioned Toronto, but first thing I want to ask you is, where are you actually from? Are you from Toronto? Is that your just your home base, or is that where you were born? I'm actually born in Brampton. Um, it's a little city just in the GTA of Toronto, um, and I've been here my whole life. Um, my background, I'm Guyanese. Both of my parents were born in Guyana. Okay, all right, well, what, what, what was it like growing up in your area? What was the home life like for Baby Ray? Um, it was great. Um, both of my parents worked at the same place, so um, we hung out at my grandma's house every day. I uh, grew up around some really, really good people, amazing friends. It's a great community. I loved it. Had amazing fun. Okay. Um, what was the home life like? Did you have brothers, sisters? And then how was that with your mom and dad working at the same place? Did they have the same off days? Um, no, actually. So my dad is a little bit higher than my mom at the... Um, the company they work at. So my dad was the one who was in every single day. My mom did have her days where she worked at home. Um, I do have a brother. He's a younger brother. Um, but we grew up with all of our our, our cousins. So we kind of grew up as like we were all siblings. Okay. All right. Now, at what age did you realize that you wanted to pursue music? Um, I kind of always knew that I, I loved music. I loved making music and singing. Um, but uh, I was really, really, really shy about it growing up. And once I turned 18, uh, during the pandemic, I had some time to play around and figure it out. So I did and it just stuck with me. And there's nothing else now. <laughs> okay. All right. So at 18, that's when you said I'm gonna mash the gas. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, what were some of the deciding factors in that? Like, just deciding to, you know what, I'm going to go hard body at doing music. That, you know, some people at 18 think college. Some people at 18 think career. Some people at 18 think boyfriend, girlfriend. What mm -hmm. made you say at 18 years old, this is the career path I want to choose? Um, I was just tired of hiding this whole part of myself. Like, I was really, really shy about my singing. And I grew up a dancer, so it was kind of like, why don't I just try adding my voice? Why don't I try making my own music? And so um, during the pandemic, I had the time to actually sit and try it out and learn it and really, really master it. So I was like, if I keep pushing it off, I already failed myself. If I don't try it, then how do I know if I'm going to fail? So um, I tried it and I'm not failing and I'm doing great. So, yeah, it was just really, really exciting. OK, um, being so young, like who are some of your influences? Who are some of the people that make you want to be the best baby Ray possible? Definitely my parents. Um, my mom is the big reason that I am so into music. I grew up on a lot of Michael Jackson, Prince, um, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, um, those amazing, amazing artists. And having those influences embedded in me at a very young age, it really was just eye-opening how amazing music can be. And I want to be someone who can make such amazing music. Okay. All right. Those are icons. Everyone I should to get to those iconic levels. Yes. Yes, exactly. 
All right, now, when you were in high school, did you ever do any forms of performances or anything that would give people link linkings or you want to be an entertainer or was this something that after high school you jumped in? No, yeah. Um, in school, I was part of the dance team. I did talent shows and stuff like that. So um, I was always artistic and creative and involved in these things. And I always had teachers telling me to go into music and go into dancing after school and yeah, so I've always been this little singer, a little dancer. Okay. All right. Now, singer, dancer, what kind of dance do you do? Is it ballet? Is it crump? Are you breaking? <laughs> uh, what What's your specialty when it comes to dance? Tap, hip hop? What's your specialty? Yeah, it's, uh, it's hip hop, hip hop and animation. Okay. Now, what's animation? It's um, almost like robotic, pop and lock, um, tutting, stuff like that. All right. What got you into dancing when you were a kid were you watching a lot of dance movies or or what made you get into dancing michael jackson it was michael jackson i would watch his music videos and stuff and just seeing how he was an entertainer how he was a performer i loved it and i started dancing i gotta ask can you moonwalk of course of course i learned it from my mom of course whoa your mom moonwalks <laughs> of course yes she was a dancer back in her day as well so okay all right so as your as your career progresses, will we see mom in any of your videos? <laughs> Maybe old dance moves. I might. I might get her only if she agrees. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, the name Baby Ray. Tell me a little bit about that name. Sure. Um, so my real name is Rachel, um, and I am tiny. If you see me in person, I'm this little five foot skinny girl. So, and I have like this baby face and baby voice. So it kind of just ties in together as Baby Ray. Okay. Now, you said when the pandemic hit, that's when you started to buckle down. Uh, yeah. What were some of the beginning steps for you when it came to putting together your music career? Um, okay. So so being shy, um, I didn't want to have to rely on other people to mix and master for me and record my vocals. And, and I'm a super picky perfectionist, so I was like, I'm gonna learn how to do it myself, so I'm the only person I need to rely on. Um, so I got all the equipment. I still have the equipment I started with. I've been using the Scarlett interface and stuff like that. Um, so I got all the equipment. I learned how to mix and master by watching YouTube videos and talking to uh, different producers and engineers. And um, yeah, I just got to work. I At first I was releasing a song every two weeks and that was just so I got the practice and I was building the catalog um, and then I started releasing once a month and that's what I'm doing now so I just release once a month and which every, which, uh, with um, every song I do get better and I learn more techniques and different production, produ um, excuse me, production skills so um, yeah it was just learn it myself, figure it out and perfect. Okay so you basically took yourself to YouTube University. Yes, exactly. That's it. All right. Now, how was how how was that? Like, did you? I mean, being so young, did you even know the terms mixing and mastering? Like, how did you even know where to begin to start your your your, your journey when it came to looking <laughs> for information? Um. Yeah, it was really just watching videos. That's all it was. And with every single video, I learned a new technique, a new lingo, a new something. So. Um, it was just, I would sit for hours up all night and just watch videos. Okay. All right. Now, in, in learning, how long do you think, and I know as a um, person, an engineer, because basically you're an engineer also. Yes. As an engineer, you never, ever perfect your craft. You want to always be learning because technology changes. Um, do you remember what that first recording and mix that you done was like? Oh, it was so bad. Oh, so, so bad. Um, my very first single, I'll listen back to it and I can't, I cannot stand it just because I know how much better it could have been if I knew then what I know now. And yeah, so I don't, I don't listen to those old songs. All right. Are they still out there for consumption or have you pulled them back as you progress? Um, they are on YouTube. I said that I'm going to keep them up on YouTube, but I did take them down from like Spotify and Apple Music and those bigger streaming platforms. Okay. Now, how involved are your parents in your career? Oh, very, very. My mom, she comes to all of my shows. 
Um, she constantly promotes me on her own social medias and stuff. And my dad is also very supportive. All right. Do either one of them act um, on the business side for you or have you assembled a management team? Um, so my mom and my dad, they both um, help me out with different uh, business things. Um, but I am starting to work with a new manager as well as um, a distribution company in Atlanta. Um, they are called Soundcheck Distribution and they are amazing people. They have been doing an amazing job for me. So shout out to them. Okay. Now, how, what was it like or what was the process for you when you started to seek out distribution? Did they find you or did you find them? They actually reached out to me. They found me. And um, once um, I met Kiara Glenn first, she was the first person to contact me. And then I, uh, she set up a meeting with the rest of the team and I got to work with them, got to know them. Um, we figured out, you know, where we both sit with promotion and what we like to do. And yeah, we vibe really well. And so I, I love working with them. All right. Now, what's the Toronto or what's the Canada music scene like right now? I mean, you had Drake breakthrough. You had Tory Lanez breakthrough. What's the music scene like over there? I'm in Toronto. Um, the music scene is very much hip hop saturated. And so it's very much like that Toronto rap, um, like that trap music. So being an R&B artist with little touches of hip hop, it's hard to find my lane. So we're still figuring that out. But um, yeah, it's very, very heavily um, catered with the rap music. All right. Do you see yourself incorporating that style in, the, in your music? Actually, yes. My next single, which will drop um, June 17th, that song is more on the rappy hip hop side. It's a new style for me, but I think the song is really, really fire. I, I'm really excited for it. Okay. Um, what was it like trying something different? It was fun. I love stepping out of um, my box and trying different things. Every song that I put out, I try to have it different than any other song that I've already released. So um, this one was really, really fun. I love it. Okay. All right. Now, as a female artist and this being a male dominated industry, um, have you had to, or have you faced any challenges when it comes to being a female? Oh, definitely. Definitely. A lot of the time as a female, you get undermined. So it's like, um, if you say, yeah, hey, I'm a singer, um, check out my Instagram, da 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 da. It kind of just goes over a lot of men's heads where it's like, oh, she's just another singer. She's just a girl, like it's fine, whatever. And then they actually listen to my voice and listen to my music and it's like, oh, okay, she can sing. Like she's a really, really good singer. So um, getting that, being taken seriously it's it's a lot harder as a woman to to get your foot in the door and be like yeah like listen i'm here to stay i'm here to play the game like i'm not going anywhere listen to what i have to say okay um how often are guys in your inbox about things mm -hmm. that don't pertain to music um it is all the time just hitting on me if i'm gonna be super honest with you yeah that's really what it is and and especially that um if i approach you on like a serious I want to make a song or, you know, something serious related to my music, it will di divert its path and end up being them just trying to get something out of me. So it is hard being taken seriously. How do you shoot that down? Or what, what would be your words of encouragement to other ladies, especially in your age demographic or younger, who want to get in the music? Like, what would be your words of encouragement when it comes to telling them to stay away from that type of thing and stay focused and stay on their journey. If you want to do something, absolutely do it. There's the only person that can stop you from doing something is you. And if you don't do it, then you didn't try, you failed yourself. And to stay away from all of that nonsense, like just know what you want and achieve what you want. Like I want to go worldwide. I want to be on top of the world and I'm not going to stop until I get there. So why, why shouldn't you start? Why shouldn't you try? Okay. All right. Let's talk about visual because you are a very, very pretty girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Visually, when you create your videos, because you have all kinds of visuals all over social media. Um, what's, do you do that yourself also? Is that something that's self-taught or what planning do you put into the image you want to portray and making sure people see the right thing visually? 
Yeah, it's all me. Um, I style myself. I know what I like to dress. Like, I'm very girly. I like the girly aesthetic. So I do a lot of the clips, earrings, jewelry, stuff like that, bright colors. Um, and with videos and things like that, um, I am the one who plans everything. I know what visual I want, what concept I want. And my cousin, actually, he's also a singer. His name's Maddo. Um, shout out to him. He's awesome. He is my videographer. So uh, we will take just my iPhone. Um, I have the 12 Pro, so it's the good, the good cameras. We go out, we find, you know, our sets and stuff like that, and we shoot our videos, and they come out great. We edit them together. It's a great, great con. Um, it's awesome. I love it. I love doing it. So every video you've shot, you shot on your iPhone? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you mentioned being girly and you style yourself. Yes. So on your social media, one of the pictures that stuck out to me the most was you in a pink ski mask. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that and what visual was, was that for? Um, so that was for, um, I think it was my second recent single. It's not the one I just shot, but before that. Um, it's called My Heart. And basically the song is about being played by some guy or some girl or whatever. Um, so you, being played and it's like, you're telling me one thing, but you know, she's telling me something else, like what's going on. And I basically should, one of the lines of the song, the chorus, it goes, I should have known, I should have known you was a slime right from the start. Should have listened when they said you was a dog. So it's like basically me just talking my shit and just like, yeah, like you shouldn't have played me like what what's going on here. And so in the video, um, basically the idea was I am going to trash his house. I'm mad. He doesn't deserve me. He deserves this and I'm going to go trash it. And so watch the video. I'm in this pink ski mask. I have this awesome bat and I'm just tearing up his house. Who house did you guys use? We actually used an Airbnb. <laughs> we didn't use that. We didn't want to do that to somebody, but yeah, we cleaned it up after. All good. It was all good. <laughs> All right. Uh, you mentioned being played. Yes. Um, at this point in your life and your career, has Baby Ray ever been played? Yes, she has. She has. And honestly, it gives me good song inspiration. So it's okay. It's all good. It's all a lesson. Okay. Um, is it hard for you to um, date and pursue your music career? Yeah. Yeah. I don't really have the time to dedicate to somebody right now. I need to focus on me and my music and my craft. And, you know, when the time comes, it'll come when I'm ready for that. But for right now, it's just straight grind. Okay. All right. No doubt. Um, You mentioned your cousin. Like, are there any collabs out there? Are there any other artists out there that you currently work with or you feel like we should know about? Yeah. So Matto, M-A-T-O. You can find him on all streaming platforms, on Instagram. Um, even if you just go to my Instagram, you'll find him somewhere. We're always together, always working together. Um, he's one of the big people I collab with right now. I'm also working with some other new people. I'm not going to name drop just yet because they're still in the planning phases. But, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Okay, no doubt, no doubt. What's next for you? I know you got a brand new video that's out right now. Talk to me about that video and that song. Right. Um, so that song is called Let You Go. Um, it is basically about letting go of somebody who is bringing toxicity in your life, you know, not making you happy, not the best person for you right now. Um, and even though you may love them, even though you may like them in your life or whatever it is, sometimes you really got to let negative people go. And so that's what the song is about. The video, um, it's a very intimate video. It's really just me singing my heart out to you guys. So it's a beautiful video. So excited about this one. All right, baby, Ray, I'm getting concerned. I'm getting, <laughs> you, you, you trash your houses, you letting them go. Um, Man, are they doing baby Ray wrong out there? They are, they are. <laughs> Why? I don't know, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> okay, all right, no doubt. Um, Your music, man, you sound like a very fun person. Um, what do 10 years from now, what do you want the fans to get from baby Ray? I want them to at least have a world tour 
maybe okay. two if we can we'll see what happens but i do i love performing performing is one of my favorite favorite things about you know this career path and so um, with my career um i want to perform as much as i possibly can so a lot of touring a lot of shows um definitely a lot of uh videos especially as my budget increases there's gonna be a lot of production videos just like things like that, I really want to entertain my fans. I really want to give them music that they can, um, they can like relate to and they can listen to and escape with. So, yeah, yeah, just a lot, a lot. All right, there's another song that I did want to ask you about. Yeah, Two Bodies. Yes. Tell me about Two Bodies. Two Bodies. It's one of my fun club type songs. Um, it's one of my songs. When I perform it, it's just a straight dance song. I just love dancing to it. Um, it's about finding your person, and you don't have to be with them forever. But if tonight is right, you might as well. You know what I mean? So it's just a fun, let loose type of song. All right, because I was wondering, were you catching bodies? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm <laughs> saying don't, 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 you know jeopardize your freedom by catching bodies <laughs> of course not of course all right um i have to ask this um and i always like to when i talk to artists you know talk about some serious issues as well um we just had this mass shooting in texas where um someone went into elementary school and took over 18 lives um what are your thoughts and what are your sentiments and what would be your words of encouragement to the family of those who lost someone in that tragedy um, one terrible, terrible, terribly devastating. Um, I just, I don't understand where someone can conjure up this hatred to be able to take lives, let alone children who are, you know, just kids, elementary school, they didn't do anything, they're innocent. It's just an absolute terrible thing to happen. And to the families, please, please, please be able to find a way to heal in whichever way that you can. I, I can't speak from experience. I can't imagine what it is to lose a child or to lose a mother or whatever it is, but whichever way that you can, please find a way to heal. It's just, it's terrible. It's heartbreaking. And I I don't even have the words for it. It's terrible. Okay. Um, Being from Canada, do the people in Canada think Tory Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion? <laughs> Personally, I don't think he did. <laughs> um, and a lot of the people that I've talked to, it's Team Tory. But um, they could be biased since he's from Brampton as well. But I love him. I love both of them. But I really don't think that he did it from what I'm seeing. Yeah, I think I I, I, I don't believe her either. I believe yeah. she stepped on some glass. That's what the doctor said. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. All right. Um, we live in a world of social media. And everything... Every story, every narrative, everything is painted right before us in real time in social media. Right. How has social media affected how Baby Ray, number one, connects with her fans, markets her music, and build a career? Social media has been the best thing for me to be able to reach other people. Um, it's my way of connecting, my way of networking. All of ours, if you're an artist or an entrepreneur, any type of person in our day and age, it's straight social media, using Instagram, Twitter, TikTok especially to get your, your name out, get your voice out, get your, your business out. So social media has been like the best thing. That's the only only really way to reach people in Jamaica, reach people in Trinidad, which I'm getting. Um, and so without social media, I would not be as far in my career as I am now. So I'm very grateful for the knowledge I have on social media and marketing. All right. Now, before I let you go. Yes. In this short journey, in this short journey for you, because you said you got serious at the beginning of the pandemic. Right. What has been the most important lesson you've learned? Um, It's a grind. It really is a grind. You know, you hear other artists talk about it, you know, once they reach their peak and they really say like you have to grind at the very beginning. It's true, it really is true. There are days where you feel like, am I even making any progress? Is this even for me? And you just have to block out all of those negative thoughts. And yes, this is for me, this is your life. This is what you want, you're gonna get it. 
And it's just a lot of that self-esteem and like keeping yourself going mm -hmm. a lot of the time. So um, that's probably the biggest lesson that I've learned for myself right now is just keep going. Your time will come. It's a grind. Yes, it, it's been two years. Like you have a lot of time to go. Like take your time, get yourself there. No doubt, no doubt. What's next for Baby Ray? More singles, more music, uh, more videos for sure. I want to do at least a video every month for the rest of the summer. So we're going to be on our grind this summer. A lot of shows as well. Okay. So, yeah, exciting. Are most, are most of your shows being booked in Canada or are you doing a, lot, a large amount of traveling? Uh, mostly it's going to be in Canada, in Toronto. Um, I was talking with Soundcheck um, about maybe being able to come to Atlanta or Detroit. So we will see what happens there. But uh, for now, just Canada. All right. How would Baby Ray like to be remembered as an artist? I want to be remembered as somebody who came into the game releasing real, real music. So it's not any of this fake flexing, not talking about, you know, money and drugs and all this stuff. I'm here to leave a good footprint in the music industry, a good um, impression. I want to be a role model, not someone that your parents say don't listen to her music. I want to be someone who is family friendly, all ages can listen to me, things like that. I want, honestly, to be a legend. Okay. We'll get there. All right. Will you always continue to incorporate the dancing? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Baby Ray, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you on the platform. Um, I definitely, definitely appreciate you giving us this time. And um, man, let the people know how to find you when it comes to your music and all the social media and those videos. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me. Um, you can find me on all of my social medias at I am underscore Baby Ray um, on Spotify, Apple Music, any streaming platform. It's just Baby Ray one word and on instagram you can find all of my music videos i am baby ray all right it's been an honor and a pleasure thank you again thank you so much have an amazing day all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is the amazing amazing baby ray y'all make sure y'all make sure y'all check out her music on all streaming platforms check out the videos check her out as she does her thing Again, on Instagram, you can find her at I am underscore baby Ray. That's I am underscore baby Ray. All right. This is Boy Big XL. This is the Ryan Dirty Show. Stay blessed, stay strong, and I promise you, you won't go wrong. Peace.